Alrighty guys, August 20th, here's our brassica food plot. This one's up from the gut stand, I'll show you the view from the stand in a second. But as you guys can remember last year, this held a lot of deer. A lot of deer were hanging over in that sanctuary to the right, which is on the north side of the property. So this is looking pretty good, hopefully we get a little bit more rain for this. And then back here, kind of behind the hedgerow, we put in clover, which turned out really awesome. This is all clover, the whole thing. Look at this, all clover. And then up there, this is all brassicas. I'll show you that in a second. But this clover is really, really good looking. I mean, as you guys can see, the deer are just eating the tops of this clover. They've been in here all summer just chowing this stuff so this should be a really productive spot the gut stand is down here down on that main path and then to the left about 50 yards so this should be really really good this year I mean look at this stuff guys thick thick clover through here should be really really awesome I'll have a trail camera in here in about another maybe another two weeks so I'll get you some updates on that camera see what's coming through here once the weather cools down and the movement really picks up, but let me go show you this other brassic plot over here on the end, and then we're gonna go check out the stands. So this one we put in not too, too early, just so the timing of the plots was a little bit different. So some would come in a little bit better at the end of the season. And this one's not too thick either, but they really like hanging out here. There's a good trail that comes up from the bottomland, so. This will thicken up. There was a bunch that was seeded a little bit late. Spots like this are gonna actually be nice and full in a couple of months. And there's already a lot of tracks through here, so give you guys an update on this in about a few weeks. Put a camera probably on this tree right here, and we'll see what's coming through. Hopefully it'll be a good season. Let's go check out the tree stands. Alrighty guys, so this is the very back of that one brassica plot we just looked at. As you remember from last year, just down the hill, we had this gap here. And then that is where the gut stand was, where we did most of our filming last year. So as you can remember, a lot of those shots looking at the field where those deer were crossing was right here. And then we have that trail over to the sanctuary, leave all that unmown, and uh, should be pretty awesome under the gut stand where it all came together last year. If you haven't seen that video, highly, highly suggest it. Before we get up in there, just running down here, I got a camera on this tree, looking over our creek crossing trail. Remember that nice eight pointer last year, crossed the creek back in that brush and walks right through here. We let him go, so hopefully he'll be here this year. I'll shoot him if I see him this year. He'll be three and a half years old. So I'm gonna pull this camera out of here, show you guys those trail camera pictures at the end of this video, and then we're gonna get up in the tree, see if there's anything we need to trim, make sure our shooting lanes are good, make sure everything's nice and tight up there. It's getting pretty close, guys, a little over a month. I don't know how this happened so quickly, but pretty exciting. So the first thing we need to do, clean up our entry trail just a little bit. The frickin' deer have actually been using this. There's so many tracks coming right out from the stand. Pretty nice one too. That's definitely a good buck right there. So they're using this trail. That's not good for them, but it's good for us. So we're gonna trim that up a little, and then we'll get up in the tree, see if there's anything we gotta trim. But this stand should be pretty much good to go. Looking pretty good up here. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of these dead twigs away. So if we gotta make a bow shot right there, we can go ahead and do that. So we're gonna get rid of those. And then this one hanging limb right here, this could be a huge problem uh, when we get to rifle season because it's kind of affecting my shot right to this gap. And as you guys remember that, that trail right there along the edge of that field goes up to that brassica patch. So that food plot is right behind these woods right here, right behind them much harder to see this 
here in the summer when everything is so thick. But, uh, you know, to the left looks awesome. Our creek crossing trail, where the deer come from to the left, walk to the right, right through this intersection. So that's broadside, about 12 yards. Nice and clean, we don't have to do anything there. So we're looking pretty good. We got our little nice clean shooting lane behind us. And that's all we have. We just have those three shooting lanes. One, two, and three right here. So things are looking pretty good. Just this little dead twig. And the gut stand is ready to go, guys. It's gonna be an awesome year. We're here at the entrance of the ridge stand. This is really, really starting to grow into some thick brush. This power line was kind of cleared out maybe four or five years ago, which stunk because the deer wouldn't really cross it when it was short grass, but now it's getting really thick. Kind of bulldozed my way in here. But uh, we're gonna trim this out here in a second. I just wanna take a walk into the stand, see how everything's looking. Yeah, we're gonna trim a lot of this down so it's just not noisy coming in here. This is usually a pretty good run coming through this little plateau. Quite a few deer came through here last year. This is just kind of the one of the ways they come into the property. Stand looks pretty good. Let's go check out the actual ridge trail. Show you guys why we call this the ridge stand. Because it just drops right off. So that creek bottom there is the same creek that runs all the way down to the right towards the gut stand for anybody new to the channel. There's a really good deer run right here, diagonal, right up this frickin' cliff. And then they run this plateau. And that's why we call it the ridge stand. So it's right on top of this big plateau which falls down into the valley which we call the gut. The gut stand is on the north end of this big valley. So it's kind of hard to see with all the leaves and stuff still in the trees, but just try to give anybody who's new to the channel a little bit of awareness where stuff is. Alrighty guys, so this stand is good to go. This is our main shooting lane right here. The deer will be coming up out of the valley or going down into the valley on that trail. Just kind of runs through this nice softwood plateau here and uh, the trail kind of leads to the brush over this way so they'll just be kind of meandering in here and if we get to shoot you know maybe right there's a spot otherwise we got this nice lane all the way across right there so this stands good to go clear the access trail out a little bit we'll head out 